Hello there, this is Holly from Let's Plan showing you how you would download your individual PNG stickers onto your device. I am using an iPad. It does not matter if you have a different device. And I will also be using the GoodNotes app to open the planner that I want to add those stickers in, but you can use different apps to host your planner too. So let's get started. This is a PDF that would come with your order. I'm going to click on access the individual PNG stickers. It's going to take me to Dropbox. That is where your sticker file is being stored. You do not need a Dropbox account. You do not need the app or click on any pop-up windows that show on your screen. That is just ads from Dropbox trying to get you to sign up for them. Don't do it. All you're going to do after you see this file on your screen, don't click it. Only thing you're doing is clicking download. So the main goal is we're putting these files onto whatever device you're using. You're going to get this little confirmation download. Um, because I'm in Safari, it's on the middle of the screen. If I were to be doing this with the Chrome browser, it would be down here at the bottom and it's a little bit smaller. What you're looking for is the blue download and that's just confirming that you're downloading these files onto your device. So you hit download. You go ahead and do that. If you get a pop-up window that says go to dropbox.com, you can click on that one because most likely is you didn't get to dropbox.com. So you do wanna get to dropbox.com. Um, once in a great while, I will get that pop-up window, but there's no way to make it happen, of course, when you want to for a video. So that is it. We're not doing anything else from here. It is now downloaded onto my device. So I'm going to close out of Dropbox. I'm going to go to um, my GoodNotes app and I'm going to open, well, I already opened up a planner to the sticker page that I wanted to use. So at this point, you would go into the app that you're using to host your digital planner. You would find the page that you wanna put your stickers on and you would open it. There are a couple ways you can add stickers um, from the GoodNotes app. I'm gonna show you both real quick and the way I prefer to do it. So if your toolbar is not showing, which right now it is when you're in GoodNotes, this is the hyperlink mode when it's not showing. Click on that pen icon, it'll drop down your toolbar and this will allow you to use the tools. If you wanna do it this way, you can click on this picture icon, then click on your screen and you get this insert from and it'll take you to the files on your iPad. You can do it from there. I prefer not to do it this way because it's a smaller screen and it just seems harder to do. So let me show you how I do it. I like to use the split screen method. So I slide my finger up from the bottom of my screen and I find my blue file folder that hosts all the files on my device. I don't see it, so I'm gonna click on the little pile up of apps here. There it is right there. I'm gonna put my finger on it and drag to the side. Oop, hold your finger on it and then drag over to the side and let go. That part does take a little bit of practice if you've never done it before, but once you do it a couple times, you'll be just fine. So here's my file that I just added. If you don't see your file, just click this back arrow and go to your recents or go to like, you know, if you stored it on your iPad or it's in your downloads. So that'll let you bring up your files. I already unzipped one that I downloaded earlier so that you didn't have to wait for it to unzip completely because there's 350 stickers. So it does take a while to unzip. And I do have to apologize. I have no idea why or no knowledge on how to figure out the date stickers that come with your planner. Do not ever stay in the correct order when I send them over through PNG. See like how it's counting here? I did not do that on purpose and I'm very sorry, but when you add them to your planner, then you can put them back in order. I tried to figure it out and every time I think I have it figured out, I send them over and they come unscrambled again, basically. So sorry about that. But let me show you how you would take any of these stickers and just add them onto your sticker page. So here we have that one. I usually just go through and pile a bunch up and then I resize them once I get rid of my split screen. So I go through and kind of pick the ones I know I'm gonna use the most. You can put them all in if you want, but if you put in 350 of them, it may slow down your planner a little bit. So you might wanna go through and pick the ones that you know for sure you're going to use. You can always access your PNG sticker files at any time and add them one at a time if you want. So now that I have them on my screen, I'm going to get rid of my split screen by just dragging that over to the side. And now I need to resize these. So at the bottom of each one, there's a circle with the arrow. You just drag it in, you can move it around, take it over to the side. So I usually make them you know, pretty small so I can fit a lot on the screen. And then I'll just keep doing that for the pile up that I have 
I'll just add them to my screen just like that. Okay, so now how I would move these from this page into another page in my planner is I would turn on the toolbar if I hadn't already had it on. Remember in GoodNotes, this is the hyperlink mode. This is the toolbar mode. I'm going to click on the lasso tool, which is the little dotted rope there, and it's going to turn blue. Now I can go ahead and draw a small circle and then hold down and this bar will pop up. If you draw the circle too big, it might pick up other sticker elements around it. So just make it a small circle right on the middle of the sticker you want. Then you're going to click copy. Then I'm gonna go into my hyperlink mode and let's just say I wanna put it in one of the months. So let me go to January. And let's say I just wanna add it down here, hit paste. So I, I click my pen down, this pop-up bar comes up, I hit paste, that's it. Now it's there. And then what I can do, oops, I just made a line on it because I was in the pen mode. What I can do if I wanna resize it um, or do anything with it, if I click back on the lasso tool and click on it, it gives me this little box around it. If I didn't like it, I cl could click the red circle with the X. If I wanted it bigger, I just drag. If I needed to crop, I could use the sides to crop, but all the stickers come pre-cropped on a transparent background, so you won't need to do that. When you have it where you want, you just click off of it. So that's how easy it is to move any of the stickers within your sticker book. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach me on Etsy. I'm always available for my customers. Thank you.